about 20 since then. He's still a string bean, six feet, 170 pounder. That ball out across the 30 to Vincent Brandon. Sophomore transfer out of Waco has his sixth catch of the year. And enough for a first down. That's what Tech needs to do. They need to get to get some respectability out of this football game. Right now, they have got to be able to move the football. Step back and cover those zones. That's Brandon splitting double coverage to the 28. Maybe they heard us. That's three straight. Right over top of the middle. Little slam patterns. Lamar. They need six on third and Hall to the air for the first time. Going deep. And he has his man, Blackshear. Goodbye. 95 yards. Two different looks at Hall's 95-yard pass and run to Rodney Blackshear. But look at the time, and then look at the separation that Blackshear has. Defender was nowhere near him. Now watch, when he plants right here, the defensive back, and that's Steve Harris, he loses his cushion, the distance between them, and he just can't make it up, and it's just a jog into the end zone for Rodney Blackshear. Wow. 13 career touchdowns for Blackshear. One more, he ties Wayne Walker for the school career record. And in fact, reinserted mid-series for Gill. That one caught again, Blackshear. First down at midfield, again beats Harris. That kind of bothers me. Play action for Hall. And a stretching grab at the 35-yard line. Lloyd Hill's first catch today. Did players jump? I don't see anything on the offense that caused it. 12 needed on second down. Hall wants more than that. And it is juggled and caught for the touchdown. Lloyd Hill. Four yarder, strangely enough. We're still in the first period. This is the play. Now, watch the tail end of this when Hill bobbles the football. He gets the hands out. Now, the ball comes off his shoulder. You see him looking back for the football? That's that concentration that just determines a great receiver. That's what makes him. There it is again. Look, watch it come off his shoulder. Again, never lose sight of the football. Look it all the way in and catch it. And Harris right on him until the last two strides of that pattern by Hill. Paul enjoyed it. And Tech back on top. Paul to Blackshear to set the tone for this afternoon. Option. Ball for the keeper. First down. Out of bounds at the 45-yard line. When you have blocked by Lloyd Hill. I know. You don't think of wide receivers. That's exactly what I was going to say. But watch this down the line. Great fake into the line to hold the middle linebacker. Now you come down. The pitch is taken, and the quarterback just turns it up and, again, gets out of bounds with the first down. Upset in the fourth period in the making. Which would really put a damper on the Cotton Bowl. Hall deep for Blackshear again. He's gone 80 yards to go with his 95-yarder. Oilers earlier. This looks like Warren Moon going deep over the middle. Because this ball, you just don't throw a ball better than this. Watch this. Never even breaks stride. Stretches out. Look at the foot speed. Just, just straight along. And he's off for the dash for the end zone. Batiste and Davis looking at Blackshear. All right, now if you're going to hold up the fingers and celebrate the number of catches, no, that dude leans 250 for AM against Texas in 65. The NCAA record's not out of question. Quarterback draw. Robert Hall inside the 30. 
Well, there's no intention to throw this football at all by Robert Hall. He's thinking draw all the way. He drops back, allows his, his offensive lineman to open him a hole. Watch this. Drop back. There's no intent to pass. He plants. Now his offensive linemen start turning the defensive lineman, and there's the hole. He sees it and picks up big yardage up the, uh, right up the middle. Good thing he's got big hands because he carries it at 18 from their 44. The net comes wide bottom of the screen along with Vincent Brandon. All audibleizing, and the Cougars come across the line as all the shifting takes place. Well, I think Charlie Biggers, he heard the audible, but then I think he heard it. They, when he reset it, he thought it was snap count. He's not... You know what they found inside his knee? A sewing needle. <laughs> I remember that. And uh, the family's best guess is it must have been there since when he was crawling around years and years ago. Caught. That's going to be close for a Lloyd Hill first down. Kevin Batiste made the tackle. And Robert Hall today is capable of just about anything. Hall has taken a lesson from David Klingler. He said, hey, I'm in the presence of the best quarterback I've seen, and I'm going to try to be just like him. And he is just throwing the ball as well as you can throw it. On a crossing pattern like that, you have got the... Bill left, Donald Marshall in the game, wide right. And McDowell in motion. On the quarterback draw. First down, maybe six. Touchdown. Anthony McDowell with the clearing block. And Robert Hall shows what a lethal weapon he is, even on the ground. I want to take. <laughs> yeah, he is number one. That's yeah, right. He certainly is. Watch this. Just drop back. You see the blitz. Just a quarterback draw. Now, right there, he breaks clean. Now there's no one there. He just sets up a block to the outside. Good block there. Takes down two. That's McDowell's block. Good hill block by Hill also. And he just scoots in the end zone. Here it is again. All out blitz. Look, everybody coming. He just finds the seam, breaks the arm tackle. Now there's no one there. Even adjusts his face mask. One last block to clear him for good. Carr returned to block punt for a touchdown earlier this year. At Wyoming, this time he gets the block. And Hall on second and ten to the sideline. And the catch made at the 21-yard line by Vincent Brandon. Ninth grab of the year for the sophomore from Waco. And Vincent Brandon ought to point back at Robert Hall because Hall threw that ball before Brandon made his release. In other words, he hadn't made his cut. Now he's made his cut. All of a sudden, now he picks up the football, and it is a perfect... Receivers, and this is going to be the long throw time. That's what Hall's going to do. Air it out. Caught by Lloyd Hill to midfield. You think this game's <laughs> over? Not close. I can't believe he... If he hadn't stumbled, we'd have had a foot race. This Texas secondary has had outstanding coverage all day, and they let Hill get free, and it might have gone 87. When they set the chains, the clock will roll. Deep again, one-on-one -on -one and incomplete. Kavnis did that time is he had the inside position, but he just kind of bumped him. And I think the quarterback may be down. Robert Hall just now making his way to his feet and leaping. He got punished right after he delivered that intended for him. Now he has to stay in there. You just can't go to Jamie Gill in this situation. Gill's been standing over there with a baseball cap on. He's not even warm. Saying, hey, wait a minute, take off the baseball cap, put on the helmet. 
And this is just a run. Now, Kavanaugh has great position inside, but right here is the contact. He puts a left arm out. Not much contact, though. Boy, hardly any, but enough to call on the side. It's first and 10 from the 35. And this one complete to Stanett at the 13-yard line. And another Raider is down. This time it's Jason Duvall. Yeah, but he's a lineman. He just gets up and runs back. Unbelievable finish here. Again, they'll move the chains and then start the clock at 36. First and 10, 13. Peck needs a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie this thing. And Hall to an open man. Byron Hooper could not bring it in. Wide open in the end zone. He had gotten away from Jacks. I thought the ball hit his hands. I, I can't believe he dropped that one. I mean, it was... It looked to me from this vantage point that it was a well-thrown ball. Let's watch Hooper here. He breaks away. Now watch this. Oh, man. Oh, he'll never forget that one. And he is the best hands guy they have by reputation. Oh, boy, he's sick on the sidelines right now. Over Drenette. Or interference on Barry to boot. That was real close to drawing the flag. But what a heartbreaking play for Hooper. If I'm Hooper, I want to get back in there. Give me another chance. But watch how close this play is for Hill. I thought there was a pass interference there on the lower part of his legs. Why wasn't it? I don't know. Barry wrapped up the legs. Look again. Watch the legs. Watch the hand underneath there grabbing the legs. That's interference all the way. This time, no flag. Third and ten. Safety blitz. Seconds. I want to tell you, Jax made the play of the game because he had a chance to interfere on that play, and he did not. He didn't get on top of the receiver. Safety blitz again. Got it off, and it's picked off and dropped by Padgett, but Texas hangs on, and they're going to win it. three on the drive and they go up seven to nothing. Two possessions into the game for Texas Tech. This is third and 15. Robert Hall com passes complete to Daryl Mitchell. He gains 20. First and 10 now. Texas Tech at the 31. Robert wants to pass. Looks, throws, caught. Daryl Mitchell gain of 29 yards and first and 10 from the 47. Robert wants to throw. And he'll find Daryl Mitchell with a nice catch right there. Daryl had uh, six catches for 126 yards. As Rice in deep trouble. First play from scrimmage. Robert Hall at quarterback. Back, looks, throws, safety, cheats up. Touchdown, Rodney Blackshear. For the day, Rodney Blackshear would have six passes, 154 yards, and two TDs. Robert Hall, well, all he did was amassed 453 total yards. That make it second and eight from the 41. Robert rolls left, and he throws in front of the rice bench to Rodney Blackshear, and my goodness, is it good to see Rodney Blackshear. And the Red Raiders, after the punt, will take over. On second down from the 29, Robert Hall wanted to pass. He's flushed, sprints out for a first down, and a gain of 14, 10 to seven. Well, on Tech's next possession, this is second and 14 from the 14. Robert to pass over the middle. Anthony Stinnett, and he picks up 23. And Stacy Jackson had a heck of a day. Well, Texas Tech gets the ball back. Robert wants to throw again, complete over the middle to Rodney Blackshear. And when all said and done, 26 yard gain. Let's make it first and make it second and eight from the 41. Robert rolls left. And he throws in front of the rice bench to Rodney Blackshear. And my goodness, is it good to see Rodney Blackshear. On the uh, very next play, Hall straight back over the middle. Lloyd Hill, and Lloyd is deep in rice territory. Show you that uh, replay now. 
Lloyd Hill, boy, it is good to see him back from his leg injury. Robert Hall finds him right over the middle, and uh, Lloyd knows what to do with the football after he catches it. Make it now second and 10 from the Rice 24. Hall wants to pass over the middle. Look at this. Woo, right in the middle of all kinds of Rice defenders. And Lloyd Hill takes it in for his first touchdown as a Red Raider. There's the replay for you. You see him take it away and put it in the end zone. It's 14. Rice's next possession, first and 10. LaRocca flushed out, and he is sacked. Show us a little Chicago strut, Fred. That a kicks. Fun to see him back. Well, Robert Hall marches them downfield. Look at this. On the very first play, Robert Hall will have a 70-yard touchdown run. Hurry up, end zone. Get here. Ooh, just in for the touchdown. And uh, that is the longest run by a quarterback in Texas Tech history. Here's the replay. You see all the defensive backs running away. Robert simply stepped back and took off. And look at the old motor running. Mm, just in for the touchdown. And again, some of that enthusiasm, a little of that spark that maybe has been missing some this year, certainly surfacing right there. Is it really a, a play I should have audible and checked because they blitzed me and I was just fortunate enough to get out of it and, you know, make the touchdown. Uh, there at the beginning of the game, you guys kick it off, uh, get the fumble recovery. Next thing you know, you're in there for a score. You guys must feel great just jumping on them real quick. Yes, they got us really going. Really, to me, that was the turning point of the game. Uh, special teams played real hard on that play. It got us the ball, and we were able to score, and that really got us going from there on. Talk a little bit about uh, Rob, uh, Blackshear and Hill. Uh, they made some great catches, some long runs. Uh, talk a little bit about them. How did you see them in open and stuff? Well, they was getting themselves real open. Um, they caught the ball well. And after they caught it, they ran with it, and that just makes it easier for me. And the line blocked, so it just made a real easy day for me.